little more donut kind of a thing. So you have the donuts also. You can have it in a donut. You can have it in a 3D. Three D, like I said, uh, is the best. It's not one of the best design practices. So avoid three D charts. These are the styles. And a presentation, there is very minimal presentation options over here. So if you look at it, there is nothing okay, except for text in chart and the legends. Legend is not but what you're seeing here, right? Territory ID one two three. So how you want the legend to be? Show in num show numbers in legend. If you do this, you'll be able to see the numbers. Yeah. So if you go to expression, right? Like I said, you don't have to divide or do any formula. You just have to convert this as a relative. So it's going to show in percentage. So it's like 13 percent. So this territory one is 13 percent. Territory six is 17 percent. So it will pick up that percentage from that. For that, you will have to expression values on data points. You'll have to show it something this way. Okay. Expressions, values on data points. So anywhere if you want the values on the charts, right, you have to go and do it on the values on data points. Okay. And colors is here, you know how to color con colors. Okay. Numbers here. Font layout caption remain the same. So there is no change. It's just only the representation of the chart changes. That's all. This is a pie chart. If I just flip this entire thing to a, I'll come back to funnel. If I flip it to, okay, we'll do it the funnel. If I flip it to funnel. See, it's just a representation change. It changed the funnel. It changed the representation to funnel. Now, both charts show the same data. But the only thing is that interpretation of data in two charts is different. In the pie chart ratio, like what is the ratio of this pro this particular territory ID in the overall total order quantity? Here, yeah, you can't use territory ID. But over here you can use something to show as a funnel where there is a step process. Like if there is a process of, so if you have a use case where you have to show a process, like step one, step two, step three. So you can show what is the share of those steps and present it. But here, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll just go back there. Yes, you can do it. So like I put that cyclic, right? So if you remove the cyclic and take this time drill, this is not the best of the example. Now overall 2008, 2007 is the highest 45%. You can click on 2007. It will move to the month pie. From the month you can move to the territory ID pie. From the territory ID, customer, from customer to product. Definitely you can do drill now. this total order quantity right and so now you see the is it still bad well total order quantity so you can present it as 1 to 10 so basically over here it is the size of the band right describes the percentage share of it the height and size the width and size is basically it doesn't matter where it is on the where it is located so basically it is ordered by the territory ID I can change the properties of this so dimension similar to similar to the pie chart, I can update a cyclic or I can update a drill down of it. Expression, I can add one or two expressions. So basically we'll start with one. Over here also I can add groupings. So all those options are valid. 
sort over here, I can do the sorting. So now if I sort it by Y value, I'll have a better picture. All the bigger ones are on the top and all the smaller values are on the bottom. So this funnel gives me a bigger picture now. So it's sh quickly showing me that which are the top ones because by the size of it, I can e easily look at it. Now, style, I can have it horizontal or vertically oriented like this or like this. And the presentation is what I can control few things. So again, the presentation tab also, there are very few things, but I can do something. Over here, top width is this 30%, this top width. So if I change it to 20%, it will become a little sharper. If I change it to zero, it will become a completely sharp pyramid. If I say reversed orientation, I can make this look like a pyramid. Right? If you have any requirement where you have to show data as a pyramid, you can always show this. Now over here, it says the one which is selected is segment height proportional to data. So only the height is proportional. It has nothing to do with the width. Now if I just select equal segment heights, right? So it will equally segment all the share, I mean all the values. So basically everything has the same height, right? Only the top ones are the highest ones and the bottom ones are the lowest ones. So you can have this kind of presentation. Or you can have segment area proportional to data. So the entire area, the height and the width is proportional to the data. Now over here, though 4.78 4 is less, right? It is more going, sticking the space, the width and the height and considering the area. The whole area is the percentage against the entire block. I'll keep this as 30 to make it look normal one. So it is like this. Again, these three have no real uh, great significance or anything, but if you want more, more presentation uh, options, these three things are available. But I don't know how, I mean, then colors, number, font, all these things are same thing. The same thing if I flip it to a box chart, it is the exact representation of the pie chart, but in the square. Okay. I'm not sure what's uh, happening, but yeah. So this box plot is exact representation of the pie chart, but in a square method. So basically the e size of each box is the overall percentage share of this entire value for in the, I mean, for this particular territory ID or on the overall order quantity. Now the best part of this is if you add another dimension, right, it gives a little more meaningful information than a pie chart. So what I mean is suppose if I remove this territory, this generic, I'll just take territory ID and ship method ID. So it will give you squares, the overall big squares are for the territory ID and within that big square, right, so this heading for this 21%, 750 within that heading with to the next dimension level the other dimension level so it gives you a one level below so it is more it I mean uh, in my opinion it gives more in meaningful information than pie chart when you have two dimensions right easily user can make out which is okay the bigger one is under fourth territory shipment the very five and one this is the split so it gives you more realistic and understandable information so in expression, there is nothing much to format. Only in style, you can have this box or you can have this plain squares. So this four, which is written in gray, right? That is the caption. Either if you use this kind of format, you'll just have the borders. Or if you have that, you'll have the heading come borders. So under presentation, there are a couple of changes that you can do. So you can say visible levels. So it is asking you how many levels to show. Now I'm showing two levels. First territory, 
ID, then ship method ID. So I can add another level. So that will be maximum three levels. So I can show I can show dimension values. Okay, I think that okay now I had frozen the screen, so I think yeah it has it has paused. Are you able to see now the square boxes? The red and blue. So this is a, this is what I was speaking of. The four territory four is the bigger one. The blue and red are the within the territory four. Right. So this is when you add two dimensions to it. So over here it technically gives you more information than the pie chart. A pie chart is a little confusing and misleading. So under presentation you can have how many levels of visibility you want. So you can have a relative total to. Now show dimension values. So first dimension it is against relative total. Right. Now second dimension also you can do it at a relative total. So what will happen is this whole thing, I mean, it is 17% of the entire total. Right. It's going as a relative total. Now if you don't want the show dimension values, you can uncheck it. Value relative first dimension. Nothing changing. Okay. Actually, here, here on the display, it is not showing the right uh, value. But if you go to the pop-up right, so there are two things it is showing. One is 21% territory 4 is 21% 21.50% of the overall total. Ship method ID is 17.04%. Ship method ID 5. The total order quantity is again it's displaying it as like the ship for ship method ID 5 is 17.04, but it is 79.25% of the overall for territory 4. So the 79.25% that you are seeing or reading is ship method ID 5 relative total to ship territory 4. But it is overall 17.04. So that is what it enables, but I am not sure why the display is coming so cluttered. I think if I just take off this text as pop up, it should show better. Right, for ter within territory ID 4, Shipment ID 5 takes almost 79.25%. If I go to 1, so it will show it is taking as 20.75%. So you add that 79 plus 20.75, you will get the overall 100% of territory 4. So it is actually showing the overall share based on the over, overall order quantity as well as the share based on the territory 4. And over here you can say show dimension labels, font, how the number label should be. What is the first dimension that you want border block borders? I mean if you use the different the second style, right, you can edit this block borders, right? How you want the borders to. If you use the second style over here where you're using this caption kind of a thing, you will not have the block borders, but it will overall show you like this. Colors, numbers, font, layout, caption remain the same thing. Any questions or doubt? The last similar kind of chart is if I copy the sheet. If I flip it to a pie chart, I mean to a uh, Miko chart. I'll just take off. Okay, I'll keep this one two dimensions. I have I still have the two dimensions: territory ID, ship method ID, expression, sum of order quantity. Now this chart is a little interesting chart. So it gives you more information, you know, a uh, kind of lesser space or what if I have to say. See, it is, it is actually a bar graph come 
like a size area graph, right? If you look at the width of four, right? Territory four is bigger. Six next one ten. Actually, what it is doing is the width represents the actual share of territory four in the overall. So from the left to the right, it's the big chunk of our actual overall order quantity. So the size, the width of the bars, right? You are seeing the demarcation with a white line. So the width of the bars is basically based on the overall to order quantity. Now, from the bottom to the top, it is like 100% of territory four, right? So the width, the size is representing the total order quantity of four from the bottom to the top is the 100% of 4. Within that 100%, how is the split for the next dimension? So I have given two, two dimensions, right? over here. Suppose if I don't give the second, I'll remove the fit method already once. It is now just a representation of this based on what is the size. Of, okay. No, no. I'm not sure. I'm using the same ISP. I mean, the internet service provider. I, I, like, I'm kind of I'm not sure why the voice is lagging. Is it now? I think it's the fluctuation over here. Is it okay now? Okay. So what I was talking about was the Miko chart. So the width represents the size of the overall first dimension, that is territory ID. Within the dimension, it will the share of the next dimension. So shipment overall the pressure type bars or you can show on oh, okay. Let's give it a shot now. I hope it is good. Yeah. So like I was talking about this Miko chart, so it's the bar and the like a bar and area chart combo. So the presentation properties, right, so are more like the bar chart only. So we look at it like bar distance, bar, though it is all disabled, but more or less the properties are like the bar chart only. You can add a preference line or text in chart. Even the access settings is more like the bar chart. So you can change the access. You can have the expressions of the dimension access in a totally different method. Colors, number, font, layout actually remain the same thing. These are the overall charts that are there. So basically the ratio kind of charts, pie chart, funnel chart, area chart, Miko chart. The next type of charts are the gauge. I think uh, looking at my internet power, I think we'll probably continue the gauge tomorrow. Is that okay? 